Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 281. Lipid Lowering Agents. Name some of the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. The HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors include Lovastatin, Pravastatin, Simvastatin, Atorvastatin, and Rosuvastatin. So these are all the drugs that have the statin ending and they are the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. Which cholesterol is referred to as the bad cholesterol? The bad cholesterol is the LDL or the low density lipoprotein. Which cholesterol is referred to as the good cholesterol? The good cholesterol is the HDL or the high density lipoprotein. What is an effect that HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors have on the LDL, the HDL, and the triglycerides? HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors such as all the statin drugs has a great effect on decreasing the bad cholesterol, the LDL. So this is the major effect of these drugs to decrease the LDL. Some of the minor effect includes increasing the HDL as well as decreasing the triglycerides. What is the mechanism of action of the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors? The mechanism of action of this is to inhibit the conversion of HMG-CoA to mevalonate which is the cholesterol precursor. What are some of the side effects or problems that can happen in a patient that is using HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors? Side effects of these drugs include hepatotoxicity and rhabdomyolysis. What is rhabdomyolysis? Rhabdomyo means the skeletal muscle and lysis means the breakdown. So basically rhabdomyolysis just means there is a rapid breakdown of the skeletal muscles. What is another name for vitamin B3 that can be used as a lipid lowering agent? Another name for vitamin B3 is niacin. What are some of the effects that niacin has on the LDL, the HDL, and the triglycerides? Niacin has an effect on decreasing the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, and it will also help increase the HDL, which is the good cholesterol. It will do both of these things equally. It also has an effect on decreasing the triglycerides. What is the mechanism of action of niacin? The mechanism of action of niacin is to inhibit lipolysis in the adipose tissue. It also reduces the hepatic VLDL secretion into the circulation. And the reason this is important is in the blood, the VLDL can eventually become LDL. What are some of the side effects or problems that can happen with niacin use? Niacin can lead to red flushed face and this is reduced with the use of aspirin or if you take niacin for a long time, uh, this effect generally is decreased. It also leads to hyperglycemia and this leads to acanthosis nigricans. And acanthosis nigricans is just a condition, um, it's a skin disorder in which the skin becomes darker, it becomes thick and velvety in the areas where the skin folds and the body folds or the creases. And the use of niacin can also lead to hyperuricemia. So if you have gout and you use niacin, it will exacerbate gout. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.